Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. And guess what? Today we're gonna be doing the part two of the video I made like a couple weeks ago of me putting a giant chorus together using 10 voices. Now, if you wanna see that video, it'll be linked in the description down below. Make sure to go check that one out. It's not a tutorial, but it's like a fun type video. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it. Now, I already did a chorus choir type effect before, but that was a while ago. Now we're gonna do a new one. It's gonna be updated. It's gonna be better. I'm gonna walk you guys through how I did everything in the last video. Anyway, before we get in the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the notification bell as well, so you know every time I post a video. Also, make sure to check out my description down below. I got a lot of things down there. Like, I got preset packs, got my own music, got social media, got all my equipment. I got a distro kid link to get 5% off, putting your songs on Spotify, iTunes, etc. Now, with all that said, let's get in the video. All right, now we're in my logic file. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. Basically, to get into it, it sounds like this, if you haven't seen the video. So this is how it goes. So I got 10 vocals, and what I thought of in my head was to do like how a choir would be put together, even though I have no knowledge of how it is put together. What I did is I grouped everything up. We basically have three alternates, two high, two deep, and then three normals, and that would equal 10 vocals. So with the normal vocals, let me single everything out and show you what I did. So what I wanted to do for the normal ones is just sing it how I would sing it. So I have three vocals like this. Whip with a little bad bitch, I be getting so rich, I be getting so rich right now. So do the three normal vocals there. It all depends on your voice for how you want to do it, but the settings that I have for these is normal. Let me pull up the setting. Each track is basically the exact same, just with some changes in the EQ. And there's too many different ones to show. So I'm just gonna go over it basically how my tracks are set up. <laughs> So what you want to do is create a bus. Reverb is one of the most important parts to this because you want to mix everything together in like a large space. You can see I have two buses with two different space designers in them. And I only use bus two. It was just a test that I did in the beginning. Uh, bus two, reverb, space designer, mono stereo. This one's used on everything. It's a 2.0 second sustain plate. Large spaces, plate reverb, two seconds sustain, negative 10 wet, dry is mute. Okay, which led me to what I put my settings on. Now for the main track, this is what I started on. I'm going to talk on the normal track and walk through how I did it. And every single track is based off this first one so uh cool cool nice. all right so first we got a noise gate okay this is what this is gonna do because i have so many vocals i put a noise gate on just because i don't want too many of my breathing noises or like background noises to get mixed in with all the other ones so we added a simple noise gate right mono activate it so what you want to do is just go to tighten up that's it you go to tighten up and that is it i'm leaving it off for now pitch correction uh pitch correction it literally depends on you it, you don't have to do anything that i'm doing if as long as it's in the right key, if you don't want the chorus to sound too auto-tuned, most have a 32 response time. Don't go any lower than that. It sounds weird if you're doing like a chorus choir and there's like robotic auto-tune sounds. Root in the scale, that doesn't matter. It depends on your song, not mine. Channel EQ is the first one. Now ignore that, that's another preset. I'm just gonna show you down below. If you copy these settings down, you're gonna get the slope that I have. Took the low to 150, took the mid down a little bit, raised the high. Once again, you can copy all these numbers and they will give you the same slope. Then again, you're doing so many vocals that it doesn't have to be too particular, right? Next, we have two compressors, but the first one, dynamics, compressor, mono. The first compressor is a vintage FET compressor. Makeup one, ratio 2.5 to one. Threshold negative 14, knees one, attack is 35, release is 260. The second compressor is a vintage opto. Now look at this, threshold's negative 14. Ratio is 2.5 to one, makeup's one, knees one, attack is 10, release is 48. All right, and that is that. Anything else I might've missed that isn't on yours, just pause the video and take a look at it. And next we have a pedal board, amps and pedals, pedal board, mono. You don't want to click it. Now all I did was change these two. It's negative 22.5 and zero. And now this sounds really crappy, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, and then you got the uh, last channel EQ, which then is just a high boost. So now this is an old preset that I used to use. It's the Crabboard Verse preset. Now with all that in mind, add the reverb, and we have it. That's just gonna be the first vocal in the middle, okay? That's gonna be panned nowhere. Now for the second one, I don't, I don't want it to be all in the middle. I want it to be in the right as if someone was singing to the right of my normal self. So, same settings, but I added sample delay. Panned all the way to the right, and then the second one is panned all the way to the left, right? Let me play these. Uh, that's not really my normal voice, but <laughs> normal as I could get it. For the two pan tracks, I added sample delay. So check this out. Delay, sample delay, make sure it's in stereo. And since it's to the right, we delayed 909 to the right. Doesn't have to be 909, it could be 900, maybe 1000. And then the left side is delayed 847. See, it's not even 909, it's 847. Also, make the backups quieter. And on the normal track, the reverb settings on the knob, negative 14 for the lead, negative 3 for the right vocal, and then negative 3 again for the left, okay? And then we have the three set up, so once again, it sounds like this. Whip with a little bad bitch, I be getting so rich, I be getting so rich right now. Moving to the deep. 
Now for the deep, they're both pan right. Not all the way, but both pan right because I want it to sound like there's a deep vocal section to the right of me. Plus 50 for each one. Both the deep vocals are quieter, so we have them at negative 5.5. Now it could vary for you, but I took them down as opposed to the lead vocal, which is at zero. Same exact settings, except in the EQ, who I made it favor my the deepness of my voice, I guess. And this is what it looks like. I raised the highs more and I dropped the mids right here. Too many settings to talk about. Just pause it and look at what I have or have something similar to it. And then the second one has sample delay on it. Nowhere to find that delay, sample delay mono stereo. And then because it's delayed right, we delayed it right on the sample delay, 960. And bus two for the first deep is negative eight and bus two for the second deep is negative three. So we want to make it more reverb, okay? That's the deep vocal. We'll play each one by themselves. Whip with a little bad bitch, I be getting so, getting so rich right now. With that in there, we're gonna go to the high vocals. And basically it's the same deal, except the high, I have them to the left, so they're separated from the deep and myself. Both negative 50, okay? Both a little lower than the deep vocals, negative eight. And the EQ should be different, that's the only thing I've been changing. Yes, it is a little different, I think it's the same as the normal vocal, so revert to that. Just like the deep settings, the first track is kept the same, and the second one has sample delay on it, as you can see right here. My sample delay is delayed to the left a thousand, and it sounds like this together. In the drop top whip with a little bad bitch, and you're getting so rich, and I'm getting so rich right now. That's it for that. The bus two setting for the first track is negative three, and negative three for the second one as well. Now we got the alternate vocals. It's just basically any other vocal I can come up with. I put them in the alternate section, put the first one all the way to the right, second one all the way to the left, and the last one in the middle. So the one in the middle has sample delay as opposed to the ones in the sides this time, just to spread them out in a different arrangement again. Because the key to this is just to put as many vocals in different places as you can, and this is the easiest way that I could do it. This is what they all sound together. In the drop top whip with a little bad bitch, I be getting so rich, I be getting so rich right now. Um, if you want to hear what these sound like too, this is what they sound like. Now. Oh, oh. Nothing that important. Uh, these three, I think they're the exact same as the up top, except the bus is at negative eight. The second one's pain to the left, negative seven, negative eight, who cares? And then the last one has a sample delay over the middle, okay? And that is delay left 926. I talked about everything I hope. <laughs> Now, if you're still confused, I'm gonna talk about one more time. My strategy went this way. We're gonna click on each one and you're gonna hear how I sound. This track was made for my normal singing voice and it was gonna be above everything else. This track is kind of another voice that I normally do, except it's all the way to the right and sampled, so it's like in an empty space. This one is another normal voice that I keep all the way to the left. Now, this is so delayed, it's killing me right now. And they're quieter than this one. The deep vocal is even quieter. I raise the highs more so I can bring out my voice when I'm talking really deep in this kind of voice. Second deep vocal is more bright. It's more airy, spacious. High vocal. The high all the way to the left, it's quieter than the deep. I can barely hear what I'm even saying. And the second high is airy and spacious, okay? Alternate, and it's all the way to the right, and it's negative five, like the deep. And left side as well, that's how this one sounds. And then the middle up front, it kind of sounds like I'm around your ears, doesn't it? And that's gonna accent it to do whatever you want it to do. Now I hope that made any sense, and if it didn't, I don't blame you for not understanding it because this one was very improvisational and ad-libbed by myself, so. Well that's about it for me, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned something as well. Half of that video was me trying to process what I was going to say next, and honestly, it was it was kind of tough. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to drop a like on it, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, and what I should do next. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, my description's down below, I got a lot of cool links you gotta check out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, this has been a crowd lord, how to put together a 10 person choir in Logic Pro 10, and like always, we out.